WBTV News this morning starts right now. Good morning. You know we're all talking at this time of year about getting healthy, staying healthy in the new year. Well, we are delighted to have Dr. Paul Thompson here with us this morning. Talk a little bit about that with us. And I was reading a little bit about you, and it said you are certified in age management medicine. And I thought, what on earth is age management medicine? Explain that for that's us. funny. That's exactly what I thought, too. <laughs> You don't think it anymore, well, do you? I was a neurologist for 20 years. So okay. Now I've moved into age management medicine only because I went through it myself when I was about 47. What is it? Um, age management medicine is a proactive medicine where we actually go in and try to make everything optimal because there's certain processes that happen as we age. Sure. Hypertension, blood sugar problems, weight, decreased muscle, bone problems. We're going to address all those. As opposed to giving you a pill, I'm going to make you part of the health care program. I'm going to get you involved. Hmm. And so as I get you involved and I get involved and together we work as a team, we s extend your healthy years for as long as possible. We live a long time now. Yeah, and which is great. Well, it is great, but it's, no great, it's not great if we're not healthy. Right. And I would imagine if you are a participant, you feel more ownership in your own personal health. Yes. What exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I tell my patients, I put the U back in health care. They said, there is no U in health care. Yeah. I said, exactly. That's, That's we, all, we all feel that way. We yeah. all feel that way. I want you involved. Well, you're going to help us sort of stay healthy in 2012, and you have five tips for us today, and I want to start with setting goals. Okay. We all set goals, but do we set lofty, lofty goals that no. we can't reach? Well, yes, exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. I say no. The answer is yes, <laughs> of course. And, and that's what we do. You, yeah. it's, it's New Year's. I'm going to quit smoking, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to quit drinking. Uh -huh. I'm going to eat right, I'm going to, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna. And on the second, you go, huh, it's just impossible. Yeah, too overwhelming, I can't It do is it. overwhelming. So you, you have to approach it a, a, a little different than that. How? Set specific goals? Well, the goals? first thing, the way, the, yes, set specific goals. And, and little goals. There's little hurdles. The first thing you have to do is make a plan and decide what you want. That plan means I want to run a marathon. I want to, but, but that's not going to be tomorrow. Right. So I'm going to make a plan. What do I want? What do I see? I, I, I think I'm carrying too much weight or whatever it is. Now I've made the plan. Now I'm going to set my goals. So in a month, I'm going to reach this goal. Now I'm going to reward myself for get, reaching that goal. So each time I set little goals. And I may, I may want to come back and look at my plan and come back and redo my goals every so often. But I've got to make a plan, then I've got to do my goals. Okay, make a plan, do your goals, and then envision yourself, you say, as the person, the new you. Think about a golfer. Uh-huh. I always think about a golfer because I'm a lousy golfer. <laughs> and I'm always trying to think about ways to get better. The golfer you want to be, right? Yes. So I, even ball players do it. They look and in their head they get a visual image. You have to do that. You have to reprogram your brain. What is it? How do I want to look? I'm an athlete. I'm thin. This is the way I'm going to be. I'm going to quit being that old person. I'm going to be a new person. I want to take a look at a picture that you have. Of a, you sent us of a client of yours before mm -hmm. and after. And while we do that, we have less than a minute left. I want to get to the last two tips here. Create a support group. You've got to do that, whether it's your wife, your, your family, your friends. Because if you're laying in bed and you're supposed to go for a run, uh, you know, if no, one, if no one knows what the heck you missed mm -hmm. it. But somebody's out there waiting for you. Somebody calls you on the phone. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you eating right? It's nice to have a support group. And the, I see your last one. It says jump. Well, to remember being a kid standing on the high dive. Mm -hmm. You stood there for an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, Scared. Yeah, when you finally did, you went, well, why didn't I do that three weeks ago? Uh-huh. So that's the way it is. You've got to jump, but you've got to do your plans first. If you jump, like we all do on New Year's, yes. it's not going to work. So jump with a plan. Do your plan. Get, your, get everything set up. Okay. That's right. the way it works. We're going to put more information for you on our website, WBTV.com, on the consumer page, so you can make your plan, set your goals, envision the new you, and get, get started. Thanks, Doc, for coming in. We appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. It is 627 coming up next on WBTV News Saturday.